NASCAR rules on the Eric Jones penalty. Elton Sawyer speaks out on the Ryan Blaney wall issue. And Michael McDowell advocates for Canada. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good this Friday. All right, NASCAR has not reversed the Eric Jones penalty. Legacy Motor Club will not take it any further through the appeals court like we saw Hendrick Motorsports do, so it looks like the penalty is going to stick. Let's see what Bob Pockers had to say about it here. NASCAR penalty of Eric Jones for the greenhouse violation at Gateway upheld on the appeal. The panel said the penalty was consistent with previously assessed penalties for similar situations. The rule book is clear that teams are not allowed to modify single source parts. So there you go. The points penalty will remain intact and the uh, crew chief penalty is also going to remain intact. Now, Dave Ellens did sit out the previous race, so he has one race to the good. He will also sit out this race at the uh, Echo Park or whatever it's called. What's it called? Grant Park. The Grant Park 220. He will set that one out as well. And I think that is the only uh, other race he has to set out. I think it's a two-race suspension. So he'll be good to go after that. Doesn't really change anything with Legacy Motor Club. They've struggled all year since announcing that they're going to Toyota. Chevrolet has obviously pulled their manufacturer support from them. So it's just going to be a throwaway year for them anyway. That being said, Eric Jones did run good last race. Uh, hopefully they can build on some momentum from that. But it's looking like pretty much uh, if he doesn't get a win... Uh, he's pretty much out of the playoffs as it stands, so it's win or go home for everybody on Legacy Motor Club until next season when they once again get factory support, this time, of course, being from Toyota. NASCAR's Elton Sawyer tells Sirius XM that the portion of the wall Blaney hit was less than 100 feet long and that the safer barrier isn't designed for a wall that short in length, but he said there should have been something else there, such as sand barrels or a tire barrier. That, of course, from Elton Sawyer via Bob Pockris. Now, and I 100% agree with that. I didn't even think about the length of the wall and it has to be a certain length for the safer barrier. But either way, in situations like that, those interior walls need to be covered with something. If it isn't long enough for a safer barrier, it obviously needs something else in front of it. We're too, we're too far into this safety deal for NASCAR, especially for NASCAR that keeps harping on safety and safety and safety. This new car was supposed to be the safest thing in the world of, ever of all time. So for NASCAR to keep harping on safety and things like that and then to continue to leave uh, tracks like this where the walls, not all of the interior walls are covered, it just looks bad on NASCAR's part. So hopefully uh, after this season or maybe the remainder of this season, if they can get it figured out and done, NASCAR will put in those uh, safety measures on the all of the interior walls, no matter how big or small they are, going forward. This from John Newby at The Heavy. Michael McDowell has weighed in on the rumors of Montreal's return to the NASCAR schedule. He has made it clear that he would be a big fan of bringing the track back for more events. There have been rumors of Montreal's return to the NASCAR schedule since June 7th when the Sports Business Journal reported that there were negotiations taking place focused on a potential Cup Series race at the circuit. Jill Villeneuve, there is no guarantee that NASCAR completes this deal, but there is a scenario where McDowell competes at the track once again, albeit for the first time in the Cup Series. McDowell would go on to say, yeah, it's awesome. It's a great race, great crowd, awesome town. Everything about that race was a lot of fun. McDowell said during a media session on June 27th, I don't know if you can call it a street race, but it's kind of, uh, it's on an island there in a park, but it's a proper racetrack with a decent amount of runoff and some tricky areas. I always enjoyed it, and I think our next-gen cars will put on a great race there, especially with the long straightaways and really aggressive brake zones. It would be a lot of fun. As far as whether or not it's happening, I haven't heard any of those conversations. I hear the same rumors that you all hear, but I hope so. It would be a cool event for sure. And I think if NASCAR is going to expand anywhere, I think Canada has definitely made a good case for itself. They, hold, they host NASCAR's Penty Series, which is basically uh, the Dodge Series. If you're into Dodges and you want to see Dodges in NASCAR, check that out. They have a YouTube channel, as was pointed out uh, by some of my Canadian viewers there, so I appreciate that. I have enjoyed in the offseason watching some of those races. They are really, really a good time to watch. Uh, even the road courses are really good. they got a lot of uh, really small short tracks that are really fun to watch, so great series. But that being said, back to the point. Canada is a great opportunity for NASCAR. It's 
Uh, as far as the international race goes, obviously it's the shorter of distances, uh, unless you want to go to Mexico, uh, which they have done in the past, Mexico City, but they said they lost a ton of money going and doing that Mexico City deal. Uh, going to Canada, I don't know how much money they would lose or anything like that, but logistically it would make sense because those are the two closest uh, countries that obviously border uh, NASCAR in the United States. So it makes sense from there. They have a lot of good tracks. Circuit, uh, Jill Villeneuve is very famous. So I think there would be a lot of uh, positive energy if they decided to do that one. No matter where they go internationally, I think it is a good idea because you're expanding the brand and doing other things. Uh, speaking of exp expanding the band, uh, brand, band, uh, there will be the, of course, uh, Chicago street course race. So I will make an episode, hopefully, about that. Uh, if I don't, either way, I will have the pre-race live stream on Sunday. So check Check me out there, but that is all I've got for you on this one. If you've made it this far, feel free to subscribe down below. All your subscriptions mean a lot to this channel. If you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you all as well. If you got a question, comment, or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. If you want to support the store by buying some of the merch, the link is in the description. We've got hats, stickers, t-shirts, uh, pretty much... Uh, that's it for right now, but you know, we might expand into some other things. We just got new uh, leather patch hats in, so check those out. And other than that, Thanks for your time. Peace.